we must obey God rather than men. But Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Acts 5.29. Let me set this up and I'd like to talk about how this applies to us today. Okay, so we have Acts 5 and we have the church continuing in power. Okay, and the apostles, they didn't have a lot of followers at that time. There were certainly Christians who got saved, but there weren't a lot of people being bold like these were, at least in chapter 5 over there. And we see the apostles, so we've got to uh, believe that this was uh, Peter and the other apostles, the ones who were with Jesus. And so we have the Sadducees getting filled with rage because you know what these guys were doing? The apostles, they were preaching. They were preaching and people were getting healed. Uh, people were getting delivered. People were having demons thrown out of them and uh, all kinds of miracles. And the word of life was being taught. This was an amazing time. And these guys went in boldness, boldness, filled with the Holy Spirit. So what the Sadducees did in rage, they threw them, the apostles, in a common prison, okay? And you know the story, as the Bible says, that these imprisoned uh, apostles were freed by an angel in the night. And so the next day, the apostles were standing in the temple preaching the words of life. What an amazing scene. You have these Apostles boldly preaching after they had just been put in jail the night before and the angel comes opens the gates No one knows what happened except Then they come and they see these guys. There's the guys that we, we threw in prison and they said there they are Okay, so we have uh, the apostles uh, are put on trial again so the guards bring them before the high priest and the council and when they had brought them, they set them before the council, okay? And the high priest asked them, this is what the high priest said, okay? Did we not strictly command you not to teach in this name? And look, you have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood on us. Man is capitalized, so that's Jesus' blood. This man's blood on us. And of course, you know what Peter says. He says, we ought to obey God rather than men. So how does this apply to us today? What is this all about? Well, I can go in a lot of directions here, but basically we have Christians as today who are preaching, teaching. We have the First Amendment, right? We are free, okay, to express religious freedom. We are free to worship. We are free to preach, to teach, okay? And uh, there is no uh, barrier on that. We are allowed to do that. And you know there's a lot of persecution today. Okay, so let's say that you're having a Bible study or you're teaching, you're having a conversation, or you're talking to a few people on the corner who are just hungry for the gospel, and there's three or four of them gathered around there, and you start preaching, teaching, you open up the word, you might be in a public park, and you just start talking, right? And you just start, and all of a sudden people start gathering around, and they keep coming, and they keep coming, and no, this is real. These things could happen, and they probably happened already, okay? Of course they have. And then you'll have either uh, some atheist group, uh, you know, ACLU, one of these people, you know, uh, come along, freedom from religion, or it may be even the our own government, okay, which is another, probably I'm going to do another video on that in the future, and I'll involve a whole Romans 13, but for the sake of this video, and we ought to obey men rather than God, let me say this, that when it comes down to it, and someone says, you can't preach that name here. You can't preach the name of Jesus. You, you can't preach. You can't teach. You can't express your, uh, you know, the truth of the Bible. You can't do that here. We won't let you. You're not allowed. Matter of fact, we'll throw you in prison. So what are you going to do, Christian? What are you going to do? Well, the Bible's clear about that. God is the higher authority. We've been given our inalienable rights from God, not from men. So... I'm not preaching open rebellion and violence here. I'm preaching, teaching for us 
to get back to the roots here because, you know, we're in times where we, we need to fight and fighting is standing up. Fighting is standing firm and letting nothing move us, right? And being about the work of the Lord because we know that our work in the Lord is not in vain, okay? So when you are approached with someone or group, some authority or, or some people that do not like, they do not want, and it could even be religious authorities. Back in the days when this was going on in Acts 5, 29 here, this is the religious authorities of the day, okay? The, these are the Sadducees and the Pharisees. They're over here. They don't want this name preached. They, they, they thought this was all over, right? They tried real hard to disprove the resurrection. And here are these guys preaching more boldly than ever, spirit-filled and just straight ahead, okay? So when this goes on in your life, and same in mine too, and someone tries to shut you down, okay, we must tell them, and then we must act and believe and behave in the manner that we are not to obey men. We are to obey God rather than men. And so I hope I've encouraged you today. And let me say this, by the way, so they just couldn't shut these guys down. And they went on to preach right after this. They kept on preaching. And so they uh, they went uh and ask another, they ask a Pharisee, Gamaliel, okay, this is the same one I believe that uh, that taught Paul as a Pharisee coming up, but the aged Gamaliel said, you know, basically, and I'm paraphrasing here, he says, look, there have been these people before in these sects and uh, that have, uh, you know, risen up and they have just died and, and all this with them. But if it's of God, we can't stop it. No one will stop it. And that would be like fighting against God. So there's encouragement in that, right? Even through the words in the mouth of Gamaliel, he went and said that. Basically, people are afraid of the gospel. That's right, because it takes away, they think it will rain on their parade, takes away, you know, morality. That's a whole nother video too. The one on apologetics. Oh, I love, I love apologetics, okay? But I'll stick to the topic here. Basically, I want you to go in peace today. And when you are told not to preach in that name or to teach in that name by some group or some authority, okay, and you're told just to be quiet and shut down or go away, say, we ought to obey God rather than men. God bless you.